So you know, I'm a bit tired of all these chocolate bars, so today I'm going to really talk about reflective contouring. Like step away from that whole chocolate bar thing, it can look a bit tacky. I know it's all over YouTube, it's all over bloggers, but contouring has moved to a new high, more natural, a little bit more cleaner, fresher, because remember when you're reflecting, you're kind of contouring automatically anyway, so it's a lot more simplistic, it's easier, it's quicker, it's on the go, and you don't have to worry about all these things. And by the way, this whole concept that you may lose weight, you know, or lose, or look five kilos lighter, is kind of like only from like specific angles, because on certain angles, it just looks like you're just chopping away something out of your face, or you're kind of just adding, you know, bars that look totally unnatural. So I'm gonna start off really simply. I'm gonna just prepare the skin. I'm gonna focus a bit of time preparing the skin. My first step today is really about working by Autopilot Radiance Boosting Mask, but I'm gonna leave it on. Um, and I'm gonna make sure that um, it just allows a bit of absorption so I get that bounce and that Radiance Boosting. I do have to say that I've cleansed and I've used my Bon Voyage just to give that bounce, because again, when you're cleansing, you don't want it just squeaky clean and dry. You want squeaky clean, but moist and reflective and and kind of just pumping out and radiating, reflecting. I have to put my glasses on. Can I have my glasses? Um, and here they are. They were right there. Um, because I want to be able to read. As I got older, the eyes just didn't keep up. So my G20 synthetic kind of bullet brush, or just like a pencil brush, but it's just nice because you can just get in everywhere. And I just get the, the mask and really work it in under the eye area, work it in around the lips, um, all over and you'll see how I just build the skin and it just reflects so again I just want to say I'm all about the reflective contouring I'm all about when you reflect on the face you automatically contour I'm away from all this chocolate barring that's been happening everywhere and that makeup artists are doing I really want you to think a bit fresher so to do that we've got to just get the skin really ready and really primed now I'm just gonna use my um, fingers here to just really massage the mask in because I just love its result. Over the lips as well, it's like a great lip balm. Doesn't it feel good? Yeah. So, and really massage it into the forehead because I'm just getting this beautiful, you know, freshness in the skin that I just adore. My next step following this, of course, will be to add my serum. The reason why I use serum is that it just is that instant boost. Of course, with Napoleon Complex, I've boosted it with tripeptide tobacco, a whole heap of other fabulous ingredients. I'm not just gonna go into an ingredient tech with you here. You can go on our website, have a look, go into our stores and ask, but I love the way the serum as a makeup artist gives me a very quick finish and boost to really help my makeup just come across that beautiful freshness. So as that's um, soaking in, I'm gonna use, um, and you know what? I'll use it on the brush. You can just put it on your hand as well. It doesn't matter when you're doing it on your own face. But I'm gonna use this stipple brush, and this is my 23S, and I'm just gonna stipple the serum in all over. And again, every one of these steps, I allow for a bit of absorption. Very important. Of course, not to prime is a crime. I've been saying it for many, many years. I'm not gonna tell you how long, how old the brand is now because I still just wanna feel like I'm the, the first day that I started. But primer is important for every, for every step. Every makeover I do, I use primer. I'm gonna put a little bit at the back of my hand. I love the Yara extract. It does help um, to just make sure we activate the skin and bring, activate all those foundation ingredients as well um, later. But it also just allows for, just, the foundation become one with the skin. I've used the autopilot, it's just nice and fresh. And I'm just gonna just tap a little bit of the skin here just to really bring up the skin's bounce and make sure it's working very nicely before I go into my next steps. I do the brow first and mascara first and I'm gonna really frame the brow and do the mascara before I go into anything else. Because the minute I get those frames in place, 
then I know exactly where I want the skin to give me bounce and everything else will contour automatically. And we're gonna be done, okay. So, I'm gonna use my Brow Tox, comes with this fabulous brush and I like to go in the opposite direction and I can go a bit stronger at this stage because you know what, by the time I finish the makeup, I will be, um, it'll be softer and I can intensify, just leave it. And again, I'm not about overdrawing a brow, I'm just about kind of like just enhancing what's there, okay? If there's no brow, then you can decide the shape you want. A lot of cultures use brows to define the, the sort of person and the feel and mood of the day. The Japanese culture in particular through Kabuki used to use just that, just brows. The brows would be anything that would change in the whole makeover. I do it first and I use it in the opposite direction. I just want to kick up into the center here and really bring it up. And then I want to just really come in the opposite direction with little hair flicks and brush it back so it all just sits nicely. And I don't believe in just adding a ton of product. Um, I just believe in using product only where you need to. So here we are, just a touch of product, and I'm just gonna then brush it back. And I kind of like that. I'll do the other side as well. And really, as you can see, just coming in the opposite direction. I'm gonna start in the middle here because she needs that little kick just there. And then I'll come in in the opposite direction, building it up. And I really kind of almost brush between the brows, like just bring them up. I'm kind of loving this. I kind of feel like I'm sitting in the lounge room at home there with you, a little step, we're having a little, we just need a little cup of tea now, just to kind of relax and do these little steps in between. I do mascara first. So once I do the brow, I do the mascara. Because once you pump up the lash, you got the brow, as I said, you may not need much more. You may need a little bit of a gloss and you're done. I'm gonna use Mesmerize, and he's, I've got so many different mascaras, and I'm like, which one do I choose? Well, I just love how it's flat. I'm gonna comb through, I can build, lengthen, volumize, curl, and it will just work. And then I use the other side, just comb it through again. I'm not gonna use the final brush out, which is the other side, which is the, the thinner side, until the end of the makeover. So, as you can see, I'm gonna still keep using mascara along the makeover. Um, and I think you'll also appreciate that when you're doing this at home, getting ready, it's very quick, these steps are very quick. And that's what I want to kind of like be able to communicate um, and be able to assist with these YouTube videos. Open for me. I just love that, it's just pumped up her eyes. Now just look down for me, she's got a little bit of blonde, so I'm just gonna go on the top here now and just add that. Let me tell you a little trick that I actually like to do with the, um, with the mascara. When, um, I'm not gonna wipe on the back, I have so many makeup artists at the back of the hand, I'm gonna try. But when they're blonde, I'm just gonna take a little bit and really just paint the top section so that if someone's a little bit taller, they're still seeing that you've got even color all over. Okay, open for me now, perfect. So you can already see her eyes are popping, her brows giving shape. The skin's got this beautiful reflection. So why am I gonna go in and do all these like huge, huge chocolate bars? That's not to say I don't use contouring when I need to. It's, this is just about showing you that reflection brings contour. So think reflection, you'll get automatic contour. Okay, my next step in this makeover is I'm using concealer and I'm gonna use the 10R brush. And it's like a little paintbrush and I love it because I can just really not only apply, but blend it out so that I'm not getting too much concealer. And notice how I'm doing this little V section right here. You know, you can also, on the other side, I'll just show you before I blend that out completely. You can also do little dots if you need to, okay, just to kind of know where to place. But I'm gonna just blend this section out here. I'm doing this sort of V on top of the cheekbone because that's just gonna give me this great reflection just right here. So therefore everything was just contours close for me. As she closes, I'm gonna get a nice evenness around the eye area. You know, maybe um, cover some of that vein capillary area that can be found in this eye area. And just tap, don't overuse the product, open for me. Thanks, darling. And then just really blend that in, take it all the way out, conceal around the nose if you need to. Um, I'm not gonna hide the freckles, so I'm gonna just keep them nice. I like them, I think they're beautiful. Um, a little bit over the lip line, the top lip line, so I can build that lip up as I want to. Um, and just go like that for me, huh? great. Just a little bit under here, so that 
I, don't, I get a nice reflection under here. And again, I can build as I want to. Um, and I'll do the other side as well. So I've just put dots here. So essentially I'm just gonna like tap it in first and if I need more product, I'll add more product. I'm using the one concealer. It comes in a light shade and a medium shade. So don't be afraid, just blend out. It's one of those things that just covers everything. And it's a concealer that has great last during the day as well. Um, so again, I'm doing this V that I'm bringing down. I wanna take away this, look up for me, this out little corner here, because sometimes we have a little bit of a downturn here, and by using concealer there, we reflect it out. And I'm just gonna let it sit for a moment as I blend into this other area, other eye, part of the eye here. And really nice and smooth, I like it smooth. Around the nose area again, give me a little bit. I've done the lips, I'm not gonna over conceal. Again, um, I don't want to sound hypocritical. If you've got little things you want to hide, just go and just tap a bit of concealer on, okay? That's nice and easy, close for me. And I'm just then going to, again, cover the vein capillary. And I'm just tapping. I don't want to overuse concealer either. I just want to tap to get a nice, even coverage. Because remember, makeup is a buildable thing. You can then build it, add to it. And I like taking it all the way out so that it's giving me a nice, reflection all the way so if you've noticed what I've done I've got reflection happening all the way in here and we're automatically getting this contour into the face because we've worked the skin as well it's quite beautiful really um, I, I love the result of that and I'm gonna just tap because I want to see all those freckles I want to see that fresh skin a um, little bit of concealer right there um, just a little tap don't overdo it again okay and um, get nice See, I love the way that the, the forehead's reflecting, but this nice reflection happening here. You can tap it in if you want to, so it blends into your skin and looks nice and, and even. You'll find this kind of unusual, but I'm now going to use the Autopilot Radiance Boosting Primer now, because by using it now, I'm going to reflect and get some more radiance into the skin before I go into foundation and you'll see how little foundation I'm gonna use. So it's the difference from the original primer is the original primer is that kind of step that just prepares and just allows for like the great base. This is really to create a, a radiance priming step, but I'm gonna use it post concealer because I also wanna fuse everything together so it just all looks really natural. Um, I'm only gonna use a tiny bit of it and I'm actually gonna use the same brush that I was using, which is the 10 a little paintbrush that I was using for the concealer. Um, I will just put a little bit on the back of my hand. When you're doing it yourself, just put it on the brush or your fingers, it's easy. Um, and I'm just going to now give me a little bit and you'll see how I'll just fuse all that together and also touching in the concealer. And I'm just gonna like, now look up for me, just tap all that so it just freshens it all in there and fuses it nicely. And I'm gonna do the same for the other side here, add a little bit more. The next step is this light switch luminizing palette. I'm gonna use this now to just, just got pouch lip in and just add that rose across that lip, just nice and fresh. Open now for me. I just adore the way that that's just giving you that nice bite to the curve color. I'm gonna use this soft pink in the middle here, close for me, all over this middle area of the eye, and I'm just gonna blend it out to give me this nice reflection in this middle area. If you don't have a strong enough mobile lid, and the mobile lid is the area between the socket and the lash line, then you can add a little bit less and don't go into the inner corner as much, stay out huh? and into the brow bone. Um, which you know you can just use and I might use a bit of silver there later. This also will blend in my concealer so that I get a nice um, reflection with the concealer and allow it to just take it on as a cream shadow almost. Um, even though it's a beautiful luminous feel to it. I'm going to use the gold and the silver to just give me this great radiance you know over the radiance boosting primer across and I can use a bit of the gold to just tap into that center of the lip there and the silver. Now I'm going to just really build up that skin just with nice freshness 
and with this luminizing light switch. It really is like turning on the light switch on the face. Just ping, just turn it on, easy. And just use these colors. Now, this darker, um, goldy, bronzy color, I can blend that in. And I'm just gonna get, smile for me. I'm just gonna like get this little bit of just warm kind of tint in through here and really just allow that to just bring up that beautiful smile and almost actually like got a permanent smile. Remember we've done no foundation yet at all, okay? So um, it's just smiling in for me. I love that smile right there, pinching it right in and working it in right there. Nice, gorgeous, thank you. So just making sure I've got that little bit of bronze, just bring, bring it up in here. And by reflecting and you know using that reflection, we're automatically contouring. I love the light switch and the way that it's just bringing out the face and giving it this great radiance. Remember, I've prepared very well. I'm gonna use a bit of this silver now on the top of the bow here, just underneath. A bit more of that bronze right there. And we're just about kind of done. Reflective contouring, I think, has contoured the face. It's given me great shape. It's really brought out that feature focus area of the face, which is this area here. Um, and I don't think you need to do much more. Keep it really simple. But I'm going to wrap this up with my Boudoir Mist Spray Foundation just to keep everything intact and the last coat of mascara. So my Boudoir Mist uh, Spray Foundation is exactly that. It's a spray foundation. And it is a buildable coverage. It is meant to be a slight tint that you can build to a maximum coverage if you want to. The thing I want you to remember is to keep it about eight inches away from the face and keep the eyes closed. It will not go into your hairline if you're not too close and it will be very fresh and it will just dry beautifully and give you a kind of matteness while still maintaining the radiance and the reflection. Okay, so here we go, close for me. Eight inches away. I start in the middle area of the face. I like to do a little bit of, just making sure that we're just getting some breath in there. Keep your eyes closed, Nora. And again, the middle area of the face, taking it now into the outer edges to give me a nice finish. And you can open up now, look up for me. So make sure everything's nice and smooth. I give it a moment so that it just dries. It automatically dries as it touches the skin, but you still need to just give it a moment. Need to curl the lash, use a curler. That's fine. Use it after mascara. I feel it just keeps it in place a bit longer. Um, and really helps with the curl being a lot more natural. She is ready. Reflective contouring. We have great shape. The feature focus is really standing out. Any way she moves, any way she turns, I'm getting this great reflection, which automatically gives me the contouring. Um, the Boudoir Mist has just given me a nice evenness all over. That's what I wanted to share with you today. I hope you've enjoyed it. Let me know how you feel about it and uh, have fun.